Welcome to learn about time and work and we are going to learn about one of the examples from time and work that is given here. Now the question is A can finish a work in 8 hours, B and C together can do it in 6 hours, while A and C together can do it in 4 hours. Now how long will B alone take to do it? Now notice here that the word do and finish have the same meaning. So no matter whatever you say do and finish have same meaning. So we can also say that how long will be alone take to finish it or to do it. Now in the question we have given that A can finish the work in 8 hours, B and C together can finish the work in 6 hours and A and C together can finish the work in 4 hours. Now in the question we have to find how long will B take to finish the work. Now first of all let us see the rule number 1 about time and work. Now the rule number one about time and work says that if man A finishes the work in N days then work done by A in one day will be 1 by N. You see we have to do the reciprocal of these N days and we will get 1 by N. You see N and reciprocal of it 1 by N and we will get the amount of work done by A in one day and these are the number of days in which A finishes the work. So the rule number one says that if man A finishes the work in N days then work done by A in one day will be 1 by N. So by using rule number one about time and work we can say that if A can finish the work in 8 hours then work done by A in one hour will be 1 by 8. Similarly if B and C finish the work in 6 hours then work done by B and C in one hour will be 1 by 6. Similarly, if A and C finish the work in 4 hours, then work done by A and C in 1 hour will be 1 by 4. Now we have got 3 statements, first, second, third, so these are total 3 statements and we represent these 3 statements by number 1, 2, 3. Now what we do next is, we are going to subtract the statement 3 from 1 from 3. We are going to subtract the statement 1 from 3. So what we do is this is the statement first and this is the statement 3 and we are going to subtract this first statement from third statement. So you see 3 minus 1 and we do a plus c minus a and we will get c that is written here and then three. We, you see we have to do 3 minus 1. So what we do is 1, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 that is written here. So what we do is we have to subtract the statement first from 3 and in that way we will do a plus c minus a and we will get c and 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 and we will get this statement. Now this is a new statement and this statement says that work done by c in 1 hour will be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 that is 1 by 8. Now the, the fourth this is the fourth statement you see now the fourth statement is work done by C in 1 hour is 1 by 8. Now what we do next is we are going to subtract this fourth statement from this second statement. So we do is 4, 4 minus oh sorry 2 minus 4 we are going to do 2 minus 4 this is 2 b plus c minus c and we will get b and here in this side 1 by 6 minus 1 by 8 and we will get 1 by 6 minus 1 by 8 1 by 24. So you see we have got the next statement that is work done by b in 1 hour is 1 by 24. So you see we have got the work done by b in 1 hour that is 1 by 24. Now we see the state rule number 2 about time and work. The rule number 2 about time and work says that if in one day A does 1 by N work then A will finish the work in N days. So you see we again have done the reciprocal of these 1 by N work and we will get N days. So rule number 2 says that if in one day A does 1 by N work then A will finish the work in N days. Now here you see work done by B in 1 hour is 1 by 24 then B will finish the work in 24 hours we have to do the reciprocal of this 1 by 24 work 
and we will get the number of hours taken by B to finish the work and that's how we solve the questions. I hope you have understood this. Thanks for watching.